Hey, and welcome to another Football Manager video. Today, we're releasing version two of the player scoring app I've been developing with Jason and Harrison. The app lets you rank and benchmark players by how well they fit your tactic. There's a new URL for this one, which is down in the description. You can go there now to check it out, all free, all ready to use now. In this video, I'll take you through how it works, and then I'll run a bit more slowly through each of the new features. Boo! Okay, so there are three big changes in the app. Number one, you can now flex all the weightings as you want. So if you think pace or technique or concentration or something matters more than I did, you can go ahead and change the weightings. Two, it isn't limited to eight roles or a thousand players anymore. If you want to calculate all the roles at once, you can. And three, it now supports attribute masking. So if you play with attributes mask, and 70% of FM players apparently do, you can now use this app with attribute masked players. Before I get into those in more detail, I'll just go through the basics on how you use the app. So here I'm in game, and if I go to the correct view here, all attributes squad, you can download this from the description, and there's instructions in the description on how to put it into Football Manager. You will then be able to see all the attributes of all the players. You need to pull the data out. So if you go Command A and then Command P, and then on Windows it's Control A and Control P, that will select all of these data, and then open this dialog box print to web page, and then you need to just put it somewhere before. So I've recently gone to this one, FM files on, and just type in anything you like. And then in the app, you just need to go and find it. So if you choose the file, here it is, and put that there. Then you just need to select the roles for your tactics. So you can select any role you like from here. These are the 85 roles in Football Manager. My tactic, sweeper, keeper, defend. It has wing back on support. It has a ball playing defender on defend, it has Secundo Volante on attack and an advanced forward on attack. Now, I could select all of these if I wanted to, all 85, any number is supported. And just if you were wanting to tweak the weightings, I'll come back to this later, but you just select here and the weightings are all here and you can amend that. But I don't need to do that. So I've just got these. And if I click upload, now this just gives me my squad. And what we have here is a weighted score for each of the roles in my tactics. So SKD, it's up there, sweeper, keeper, defend, wing back support, ball playing defender, and so on. And I can just sort it. So the best uh, goalkeeper in my squad is this guy, Mark Gillespie, for example. Here, AFA, attacking forward and attack. The best forward is, is Faustino Andrew. Now, when I say the best, this is a weighted score based on their attributes and then some weightings on what the uh, most important attributes are for each and all of the roles in Football Manager. There are other videos on my channel about how I got to that. But in this app, if you want to, you can change it anyway. Okay, let's talk about flexing the weightings. And the way we'll do that is to look at Leo Messi. So we'll take his attributes as a false nine and run them through the default weightings in the app. So here we are in the app. We'll just click false nine support, and then we will upload and here we are, we get a score of 16.8. Now this score, the calculation of it is on this spreadsheet here. There's the 16.8, these are Messi's attributes. What we're doing is we're taking certain attributes and taking them as more important than the others. We've got the ones that are green and blue in game when you select the false nine role on support. And then we've got a few other ones down here that we're saying are still more important. And there are other videos on my channel that go into more detail about that. The point here is that this is the calculation and specifically, these are the weights, five, three, and one for certain of the attributes, depending on how important we think they are. Going back into the app, if you just want to see those weights, just click on this little thing here, and they will come up on the screen. So take, for example, there's the five for acceleration. Down here is the five for pace. Just going back to this calculation, suppose you thought technique was very important. Messi's got 20 technique, and here it is in the calculation. The weighting is three. Suppose you increase that weight to say 10. The number at the bottom here that was 16.8 has now increased to 17.3, reflecting the increase in the weighting of technique, which is an attribute that Messi scores very highly in, perfectly, 20 out of 20. How would we reflect that in the app? Well, in the same way. Down here is technique, it's got three. We'll increase it to 10 and we'll click Save Changes. If we now upload the data again, that number of 16.8 has increased to 17.3, reflecting the calculation we just saw in the spreadsheet. Now, if you want to restore the defaults, there's a button for that up here. Now, the weightings will auto-save through your browser when you change them. 
but a recommendation for me if you make a lot of changes i take a screenshot or something so that you can reinstate them if for some reason your browser loses the updates to the weightings okay so another thing we've done in this version two is we've removed the restriction on calculating only eight roles we know that obviously tactics can have more than eight roles you can now select as many as you like i'll just select them all and then upload it and you'll see it will calculate the most there's a lot of horizontal scrolling going on but here's every single one of the roles in football manager for every single one of the players now we've had to do a lot of work behind the scenes on this app to make it server efficient to be able to do this and i am massively grateful to harrison and jason who have helped me develop this that efficiency ought to mean you won't see this go down with traffic spikes anymore and as i say it also means that we can remove that eight role limit we've also relaxed the previous thousand player limit uh, to 20,000. now this is a web-based service and it is completely free anyone can use it you can use it right now if you do want to support it voluntarily we have added at the bottom here a buy me a coffee button feel free to go ahead and hit it just after you've hit the like button on this youtube video we've had a few people ask us to put that in which we very much appreciate if you click that and buy us a coffee it will support this app and the developer group that's put it together and it will support the costs of hosting this app but as I say, that's voluntary only. You don't have to do that. This app is free and it's going to remain that way. Now I'll take those all 85 roles out, just put two or three more back in. Uh, and I'll just show you another feature, just upload that, that we've been able to add. Now we've got a more efficient uh, back end to the code. What this does now is for each and all of the players, it calculates the role score for all of the 85 roles. And it just puts on the right hand side here, the highest one it found for each and all of the roles and then it tells you which role that was so it gives you an idea by that as to what the player's best role might be I don't think it tells you the player's best role because some roles are easier to be good at than others because they require fewer attributes have a look at poacher for example which requires very few attributes versus complete forward which requires loads it's therefore easier to score well as a poacher but looking at this does give you some clues as to the player's skill set. So take, for example, Harry Kane, who comes up as a deep lying forward because his pace is low. To me, that tells me something about the way the FM game engine views Harry Kane, for example. If you don't find this useful and you want to remove it, just click this button. You can go down here and you can take these columns off. And while I'm at it, if you want to export data, you can just click this thing here and you've got a whole bunch of different formats in which you can export the data again if you're doing a youth save or for whatever reason you want to track players over time you've got lots of different ways you can do that okay so let's talk about attribute masking and how the app now handles that we'd very much welcome your comments on this this is a new feature in this version here's how the player scoring system works for a guy like this guy on the screen Aiden Keener so it's going to look at the ranges it can see and it's simply going to take the midpoint of the range so if you take, for example, acceleration 12 to 15, the midpoint of that range is 13 and a half, and the app is going to use that when it goes on to calculate the scores. So the app no longer throws up an error. It does give you an answer. The answer is based on the midpoint. If the attribute is completely missing, by the way, the app will assume it's simply zero. What I've got here on the screen is a short list of 14 forwards that I've put together that make sense for Portsmouth in League One. And then I've put here the attributes that the scoring system looks for from an advanced forward on attack. So acceleration, pace, finishing, which is the, the first set. Then the next set down, dribbling, first touch, technique, composure, off the ball, and so on. You can see that predominantly these attributes are in ranges for this group of players. With one exception, there's a guy here called Macaulay Langstaff. And you can see that instead of there being ranges for the attributes for him, there are single numbers. This is because this player has been scouted and you can see that from the star ratings here and also if you click on this player and you go up here where it says scout report also says extensive knowledge now what i've done here is i've gone into the app i've selected the role advanced forward on attack i've brought these players into the app and i've sorted it here by advanced forward on attack and you can see that the app is now using all these various midpoints to give a directional view on which of these players are the best now obviously these haven't been fully scouted and so what this is really telling us when we're playing in attributes masked mode in fm is these are players that make sense to go and scout some more and there's Kina, who i just showed you 12.2 near the top of the list now just to reiterate the way the scoring 
is working as between a player where you know all the attributes and one where you don't. I've just put the attributes for Langstaff and Kina on the screen. So Langstaff's the guy who's been fully scouted. There's extensive scouting knowledge. And Kina is the guy where he hasn't yet been scouted, but the scouts know enough about him to give ranges. It's the same calculation method with weights uh, and then a calculation of a score out of 20. In Langstaff's case, 13 and a half. And then for Kina, if you use the midpoint of the various ranges, so acceleration 12 to 15 becomes 13.5, for example, and multiply through that through all the weight, you end up with a score out of 20 of 12.2. That's what the app is showing you here for Kina, 12.2, as compared with Langstaff's 13.5. Now, if you just calculate it again with all the low points in the ranges and all the high points in the ranges for Kina, you get a score which at the bottom end of the range might be 10.4 and at the top end of the range might be 13.9. As you scout Kina more, you will learn more about where those ranges settle into a single number. And then if you ran the scoring system again, you're going to get a number. It might be about 12.2. If it turns out the scouts actually think that the higher end of the actual range is better, you might get 13.9 and it might be as good as Langstaff, for example. But with attributes masked, what the app is basically doing is giving you a steer on which players make the most sense to scout further. You can see here the players for which scouting is required. As you learn more about a player, their score may increase. And so if a player appears near the top and you haven't scouted them, it is probably worth scouting them some more. If you don't want the app to work like that, you just want to deal with players that are fully scouted, just go into the player search screen or the shortlist screen and just set this condition that knowledge is at least extensive knowledge. If you do that in the example of all these forwards, you will only see Langstaff, who's the only one that has been scouted extensively. If I then remove that, you'll see that all the players come back onto the screen. All right, that's the app and that's how it works. Uh, I just want to do a little bit of housekeeping, a couple of things, um, common experiences people have had using the app. The uh, first thing, if you don't have it on this view, you will get an error message. I'll show you what that would look like. So say, for example, instead of putting it on the all attributes view, which is the one you want, I did it on this other view instead. And if I export the uh, data from that view, what I'll find when I try to upload it is I'll get an error. So if you see errors look, look like this, it's probably because you're on the wrong view. Another thing just to bear in mind, if you're playing the game in a language that is not the English language, I'm afraid you will need to switch it to the English language to be able to use this app. We don't support at the moment other languages. And then just to deal with one other point that I've seen come up quite a lot in the comments, is this the same as using Genie Scout or using the editor or some of the other football manager utilities that are out there? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, and I think the reason is because this only uses stuff that you can see in the game. All this app's doing is representing to you information you can see in the game, be it with attributes masked or not masked. It's just the stuff you can see in the game, however you've chosen to play the game. You will still need the scouts to tell you about hidden ratings and also about potential. This app gives you nothing on that. Uh, it just represents to you the things that you can see in the game. Okay, those are the new features and, and we hope that they, uh, they add fun and immersion to your experience of using the app and playing Football Manager. Uh, let me know had, uh, any feedback either here in the comments or, or over on Twitter at Playing a Squirrel, links in the description. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe if you want to see more and I shall see you in the next one.